the Lost Cause Ranch. I'm Joe, budget Bentley behind me, and today I'm gonna do my first body work. Yes, first time ever painting, and we're gonna use this Harbor Freight spray gun to get that rear bumper fixed. This is the after product. So, so we got it painted. The hole was over there. Why don't you stay tuned and see how it goes. Yes, that one, the Continental Flying Spur that cost as much as a new base model Jetta. And today, we're gonna learn how to paint on a Bentley. What could go wrong? Seems like a perfectly fine idea. I'm gonna learn how to do some body work and teach myself via YouTube how to paint a bumper and we're gonna do it on a Bentley. We have plenty of cheaper cars to do it on, but the Bentley needs the bumper painted. It is what it is. So for those of you who have not seen the last couple videos, here is the issue with our bumper. Little crackage, little missing. I can stick my finger in there. That's not supposed to be like that. So we're gonna remedy that. And being this is a budget Bentley, we have a trunk full of budget tools and supplies to get this done. We have our plastic welding gun from Amazon our spray shelter so we can keep stuff tidy in the shop and hopefully some dust out of the paint and some paint and body filler all from our local O'Reilly's. I don't know what most of this stuff is but you will find out with me. And last but not least we have our Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic Professional Series spray gun. Professional series spray gun. Let's see how this all goes. And I will link down below everything we use in the description in case you have a Beamer, Benz, or Bentley of yourself that needs a budget bumper repair. All right, one more thing. We're doing this on our budget Bentley, trying to save some money. And I don't know that's gonna save as much as I was hoping. Some of this stuff's expensive, but I mean, I guess we'll have some tools for future use. So there, yeah, we're saving money. But either way, what I want you to do is, in your head, total all this stuff up, including the paint supplies, and put a dollar amount of what all this costs in the comments down below. And the closest person, without going over Price is Right rules, will get a free Lost Cause Ranch t-shirt. And we'll run this for one full week from the time this video is up. And the next video after that one, we'll announce the winner of a t-shirt. Woo. I have never noticed this before, but the B in the center cap is weighted, so it always stays somewhat upright. off. I guess good thing it was already broke. I have no doubts that this is gonna go great. As you saw in incredible fashion, the bumper is now off. We're going to dismantle all the extra accessory bits, the lights, the plastic, all the parking sensors and whatnot. We'll get those out of the way because we won't be painting those. I'm not gonna paint the lights. And this is the damage that we are repairing today. As you can see, there's a hole. I can stick my fingers through it. Not supposed to be like that. So we're gonna stitch that guy back together, fill that hole. And then because I'm kind of an idiot, now we got some more. Shouldn't have dropped the bumper. All right, so the first step of the repair process is gonna be using this plastic welding gun that we got off Amazon. This guy was like $30 or somewhere in that neighborhood and it is like a fancy soldering iron comes with the gun 
some instructions, and a bunch of staples in different variety. We got some zigzaggy ones. We're gonna mainly use these little S-curve ones. And here is what we're looking at on the backside after using it. It just melts them right in, stitches that together, so you have a nice strong repair. And then we can finish out the top side. This is all done in the back. We'll snip all these off after we are done. And then we can use some filler. I got Tony and Sasha, my helpers for today. And we can use some filler and smooth that out. And we have the crack that I created, quite a mess there. Then there was another one right here that wasn't done by me. Man, I did a number on that. I guess we're gonna get a good test on whether this guy works. Kinda feel like an idiot for that. Apparently I like making more work for myself. And all you do here is pull the trigger and that heats that guy up. You can see she's nice and red. So trigger on, we got her nice and hot. She sinks right in there. Don't go too far, don't push all the way through. Then trigger off, let it cool down. And there you have it. Load up another one and keep stitching away. We have everything stitched up now, even my boo-boo. Looks like some good surgery right there. Underneath here, all stitched together. This little crack that was there, stitched together, and I went a little too deep there, so I'll have to sand that out and do some filler. But this, I think, is a nice repair. That's holding up well to me pushing on it. Feels nice and solid. So I think this should work out. So now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is filling our hole there. We went ahead and got Bondo brand body repair kit with a little mesh screen. All right, so we got our pink goo slathered all over. It is telling me it takes about a half hour to dry before you sand that. So while we wait for that, we're gonna finish cleaning out this room back here. This is going to turn into our chassis assembly area for that Defender. But before that, once it's cleaned out, we're gonna set up our spray shelter back here and paint a Bentley bumper. It is sizable. I can stand inside it. I'm short, but I can still stand inside it. It's got a mesh screen on the front that I have rolled up. I think, I think that'll do. We'll get the bumper in here, get it primed. And it's absolutely gonna turn out perfect, guaranteed. So we got all our supplies here, at least what I think we will need. Um, got our base, our clear, and our activator activator, mixing cups, our sealer primer, tack cloths, respirator, this, some lacquer thinner to clean everything up after we're done spraying. We wiped the bumper down already. So we're gonna mix our primer up now. Just looked it up. It is one to one. I think we'll do like a pint total. So eight ounces and eight ounces. I don't know if that's enough. We'll probably have to mix more, but it says with the temperature we have, we have less than a half hour to work with, so no pressure. With our fancy Harbor Freight Central pneumatic gun, I think we are ready to spray. All right, and that is why you use a tack cloth right before you're ready to spray it, because even though I took this outside and washed it off soap water and everything and then just did a grease remover, there's still some dust. So 
So I got the sealer drying for a couple hours. I'm gonna have to sand some of it. We'll get in here. I want a little heavy right there, you can see. So that's no bueno. The area with the hole doesn't look too terrible yet. We'll sand a little bit of that and I think that's all good to go. Maybe a couple pinholes. But if we were looking for perfection, this wouldn't have been done by me. We're just giving it the old college try, seeing if we can do it. Got the gun cleaned out from the primer. Use a little lacquer thinner for that. And uh, we're actually gonna shake this one up and mix it beforehand. But the base is a little more complicated to mix. This one wants eight to half to four. That's gonna involve some math because I don't see an eight to half to four on here, nor a four to quarter to two. And hopefully this works out, but we have Audi L041 Night Black instead of Bentley L041 Beluga Black. O'Reilly's couldn't mix the Bentley stuff. So I thought an Audi's close enough. Much thinner than the primer, so being we had a sag in the primer, we're gonna be in trouble. So we have a primered, a base coated, and a clear coated Bentley bumper done by someone who shouldn't have been doing it. First time doing body work. First time spraying a bumper. And we'll have to wait until the morning and see how this thing turned out. It's definitely gonna need some wet sanding, but we knew that going in. I mean, I knew that going in. It's definitely not perfect. But like I said before, if we were looking for perfect, we would have had someone who knew what they were doing do it. Not me. But it was a good learning experience. I'm not as good at the bodywork side as the spraying side, but I've always heard that the prep work makes the paint job. So, yeah. We'll get it back on the Bentley here in the morning, and you'll see the finished product. And you'll have to let me know if I'm an idiot or not. Well, we got her on, and as you might be able to see in the camera, I'm not sure if you can or not, it is kind of orange peely. I mean, I guess that can happen if you don't know what you're doing, but it was a good learning experience. Learned quite a bit on this one, and the next one will be better. The next bumper probably won't be on a Bentley, so there's that. But no hole anymore, looks better there. We're gonna pull it back in here, do some wet sanding, and then we'll show you the final product of me painting a bumper for the first time on our budget Bentley with Harbor Freight, O'Reilly's, Amazon, all in tow. Look, another one. Here it is all wet sanded. Did a little 600, 1,000, 1,500, then 2,000 grit. Now we're gonna get the flex out and polish her up and we'll see how it is. I mean, it's got some pinholes, but much improved. All right, so we got her all nice and shiny black again. A little compound on her, and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised at how this turned out. Where the hole was right over here, the bodywork leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's better than it was. You can't stick your finger in it. Learned a lot on this. Probably need like a sanding block or something. It's not quite perfectly smooth. For the first go around at spraying, using Amazon products, Harbor Freight, O'Reilly's, in a little spray booth, not a paint booth. We got a good bit of that orange peel out and this Audi black matches the Bentley black pretty well. We had a crack here earlier. This is the part I blew apart dropping the bumper. We got that all fixed. All in all, it works for the cheapest Bentley in the country. If you found this entertaining, 
give us a like down below. If you think I'm an idiot and you want to let me know what I did wrong, make sure to comment because I'm sure I did plenty. And if you want to see more on this Bentley and our Land Rover two reg stuff, make sure to subscribe. We always have something going on even if it is screwing up painting a Bentley bumper. As always, appreciate you guys watching. Love that you're along for the journey of me learning how to do things. And we'll catch you on the next one.